Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about the field encryption. So mostly that is used for that um, encrypt that any types of uh, password or any types of uh, protection protected data. So it uh, only required few things um, but that particular user or particular group member or particular role member can access a particular field based on that role. So for the field, uh, this is the um, service now documentation. You can go through this documentation or else I will show you end to end uh, details. So if you see for the field encryption, you need that encryption shop support plugins uh, installed in your system. So I already installed in my system. Let me go to that uh, service now instance and show you that how it looks like and how we can do that. So first you have to go to the plugins. And if you go to the plugins module, so recently they, uh, they changed that plugins module view. So it was something different in a long days back. So if you go to the plugins and search with that um, encryption supported, this is the encryption support uh, plugins that you have to install in your system. You don't need to install the second one, but the first one you need to install in your system. Somehow, if you are not able to see this plugins uh, definitely you should add the evaluate role and add the security admin and then uh, you can try to search that plugins and you can install basically this plugins is associated with security admin so sometimes it's not visible so whatever uh, uh, things we need to do uh, that requires that security admin role okay so let's go uh, to that our um, service instance and see what are the things you required for the next step. So the next step is that if you type the field encryption, there is no module available right now because you don't have that security admin role. So first go to this sections and um, create a uh, like check that security admin role once you check that so once you check that it will be installed in your uh, that that uh, security in, uh, admin will be added in your roles now if you try to search the field encryption uh, you will be able to see one of these encryption context so under security, a uh, system security, uh, if you type the field encryption, there is there will be a module called encryption context. So very first thing is that you have to install the plugin. You have to add security admin in your role. And the third step is that you have to create encrypt context here. So this is the third type, third step. So if you go to the encrypt con uh, context, currently I don't have any encrypt context. So I have to go and click new to create a encrypt um, context. So there are uh, two options. One is the 128 bit encryption. Another is the one uh, 256 bit encryption. So it uh, depends on your criteria. So I would like to choose the 256 bit encryption and I am putting the name is test encrypt. So once our test encrypt uh, is created, by default it generates that encryption. So with some the key. So you don't need to worry about that one key. So right now the third step you have done by creating a test encrypt um, encrypt context. Okay. Now, if we go to this encrypt field configuration, there are three fields available. Okay, so three records is available. Just forget about this one. We'll come to this point later. But if you just see that the three fields are, or the three records are available. Okay, just leave it uh, uh, as for now. So we'll come to the change request table. where I want to create one field 
type encrypt okay so that this encrypt that field will be only visible to particular role so i am going to create a field right click on the header and configure and form layout and maybe i am putting that password okay and this time the type will be that encrypt so there will be one field called encrypt text you have to choose that encrypt text and uh, you can uh, set the size of this uh, lay or the length of this text i am putting that 100 and adding in the section of after on hold session and save and close this block so after on hold reasons the password field should be visible that whatever i created but it is not visible because this field itself is encrypted okay all right so this is the fourth step where you have to create one field inside the change request form so coming to the fifth step uh, before that if i refresh this table uh, you can see that one more record is by default created so change request u password multi encryption context so you don't have to create this record once you create any field to the particular table by default it will be created to that encrypted field configuration table so just leave it as it is so our fourth step was to create a field in this change request table so field is created but it's not visible to anyone now you have to create a roles or else you can use that existing roles both are your based on your preferences i am going to create one roles the new role called test encryption so before that you have to configure form layout and there should be one field call newly field call encryption context which is created after i install the plugins in the role table so once um, you created that encrypt context file or en encrypt context data right so i am going to create one more field called test encrypt okay this test encrypt will be uh, this is the role i am going to uh, set and along with that in the encrypt context you have to specify that encrypt context that i have created previously call um, if i type the field encryption that what i have created back few few time back the test encryption that you need to be associated with that particular role so i am putting that test encryption okay so this is the fifth step so in the fifth step what we are doing right now in the fifth step we are creating a role or we can use the existing role and add that test encrypt or the encrypt context we need to add that okay so very first thing is plugin install second is the encrypt context creation third is that uh, we are talking about that uh, check the field configuration and go to the table particular table add the field and go to the roles and add the encryption now our role is created right so if i go here the role is created now if i go to my again the role is created till now fine now if we try to refresh this form till now i haven't seen that field right so even if i try to show xml let me see that if i can see or not okay it's not yet created so let me save that and try to uh, get the data from by so xml so let's see
so we created that password type field which is not visible at all a even if i do the show xml right so now that last step is that you have to go to your profile and add that role whatever role you created in your profile so if i go here and add that role the taste and cream whichever i have created i should be able to see that if i add this taste encrypt role i should be able to access this change uh, in the change request let's see but if i refresh you won't be able to see because you need to log out and log in so see i'm not able to see right now but if i logged out and logged in again because i just recently added that role so you have to log out from your system and logged in again So once I refresh that, you can see that the password field is available, that encryption field is available and it has some lock sign. It means that it is encrypted. Now whatever value you want to put or it will be generated from system, fine. But that particular role, who have that particular role, they can only access this field. It means if the user doesn't have that role, they won't be able to access at all even if the user is admin they won't be able to access at all that field so let's see if i go here and go to this um, uh, my profile and remove that encrypt role from my profile i won't be able to see that uh, role let's see So if I go here, edit that role and remove the test encrypt. So this is the test encrypt role, which is help us to read or to, to help us to render that particular field. So if I, am re I removed from my profile and if I ref refresh that, Still, I will see that password field because I haven't logged out. Once I logged out and logged in, I should not be able to see that field because I don't have particular role to access this en encrypted field. So let me log in again. So I logged in and try to uh, access this field in the change request. I won't be able to see because I don't have that particular role. So let's refresh. See the old recent field is gone. So, so uh, using that field encryption, so if you have that particular role, you will be able to access that particular field. If you don't have that access, you won't be able to see. That's how you can encrypt your particular field and protect from other person. So that's all about, uh, about the field encryption. Uh, so if you need anything you can ping me you can whatsapp me or you can chat me but definitely um, this is the free encryption concept thank you very much for uh, today's session